This is Judge Patty Mayo. Both parties have agreed to abide by the judgment handed down today. The winner will be paid by Patty, and the loser will be subject to the resources of the court to collect their debt. Court is now in session. When a dress becomes the cause of distress, Heidi Landers is suing Cordell Allen for $800, claiming she paid for a dress that was never delivered. Cordell is countersuing, saying he deserves payment for the work he did on the dress. So uh, I make clothes for runway models, not street walkers. You're a con artist. Let me see what you got on. You make a mess. I say by no charity. I want my money. Come on. Heidi, shut up. That's dumb. You ain't said you look like a bad no, I did not. I sure didn't. She lied. No. The case needs to be dismissed. That's good, guys. Some weeds. I'll literally smash it with my gavel. <laughs> Do you want your cornbread? <laughs> Itty bitty, titty witty. All rise. The Honorable Judge Patty Mayo for sighting. Are you seated? How you doing? How you doing? Good, you? Pretty good, pretty good. Are all the uh, cases logged? Um, I do believe there will be a couple changes to the docket today. Who do you want to start with? We can definitely start with... Do we have Landers and Allen? They're both here. Heidi is suiting Cordell for the cost of a $400 dress she purchased, which ripped immediately, she alleges, embarrassment and emotional distress. Cordell countersues for the cost of making the dress and alleges that misuse caused the dress to rip. Is that about the sum of the case? Yes, sir. All right, Heidi, why don't you tell me your, your series of events? Okay, um, I actually call, um, I looked this person up on the internet because I needed a dress made. Um, he told me he can make the dress for me. When I got the dress, the dress was ripped. Um, it was just horrible. Is this the dress you have right here? Where's the rip? Right here. Where? Right here, it's open. Harvey, can you grab that from Heidi? Your Honor, that looks like artistic expression to me, huh? It doesn't look like a rip. Harvey, yeah. can you come grab this dress from Heidi and give it to uh, Trevor to take a look? Thank you. You're a dress expert? I am today. It was supposed to be sewn together. I don't see anything as a rip. I see it. That's um, I think it's just different than what she expected. I don't think it's a product failure. I think it's a difference of opinion on what she was expecting. Yeah, that was, I, I don't see a rip there. Hi, Heidi, is there a rip? Are there, is there an actual rip on that the dress? The dress is supposed to be sewed together in the front. Right, but it's not ripped. You claimed it was ripped. You well, it's not it sewed together. Right? You accepted the dress in that condition. You clearly didn't make the dress in that condition. What attracted you to that dress in the first place? Um, the lace. And when did you notice the dress was ripped? Um, when I got it back. When you got it back from where? When, when he gave it to me. You noticed immediately it was ripped? Yes. Okay. And did you say anything to him about the issue I before? Did, I did call him and I um, informed him what was going on. Can you describe the nature and extent of the emotional distress? Um, I, I mean, like, literally, I was having a nanny party, a nanny tranny party, and I couldn't wear this to the nanny tranny party. But that's not what you said in your claim. You claim that the dress ripped almost immediately, and you were embarrassed having to wear a ripped dress all night at your high society party, but you spent most of the night crying in the restroom because you felt so humiliated. Because I couldn't wear it. But you bought it like that. He made it like that. So why would you even just wear it in the first place? Why don't you just go down to TJ's and get another one? Because why would I spend my money to um someone that's supposed to be a fashion I, designer? You decided to lie to the court, obviously. How? You said that the dress ripped during your tranny nanny party. No, the dress is ripped like this when he um, when he brought it back to me. That's not what I'm reading. She went all out and spent $400 on the dress, which ripped almost immediately, according to Heidi. You're quoted as saying ripped almost immediately. So were there any warranty or return policies that came with the dress? No. Is this the first time you've ever purchased something from Cordell? Yes, it is. Okay, Cordell, what's your side of the story? First of all, your honor, Sorry that I'm here with like this. I, I was getting a chemical pill. Can you speak up a little bit? I was getting a chemical pill, but it looked like Leprechaun was out at night walking the street, and now she want to get her money back, so she want her coins. 
The dress was four hundred dollars. I already told her I make clothes for runway models, not street walkers. So she decided to want to. Um, first of all, the dress was four hundred. The the deposit is two hundred. After I'm finished with the dress, I let I allow you to try the dress on. Then I get my balance. Once she tried the dress on, it was perfect. Loved it. I got my balance, and then boom. The next day she called me, talked about it was a hole in the dress. It was never a hole in the dress because you tried it on. That's how I got my. Balance. So, but in your claim, in your claim, you were only going to make a hundred dollars because you like to give back to charity. So, at which point did this turn turn from a charity gesture into she's needing to pay four hundred dollars for the dress? I ain't say about no charity. I want my money. She, I felt like she owed me four hundred for wasting my time. I I get paid for time, and I'm coming here to tell y'all something about some that I know I would not give no. No dress with a hole in it. So you've been making dresses for how long? 18 years. Bailiff, can you pass me that dress again, please? Oh my God, well, how in the hell? And I, don't and I would never even make no shit like that, but since she begged for it, I made it. No, I don't like the dress. I won't even make no shit like that, Your Honor, but since she begged for it, I made it. Horrible. Come on. Mr. Allen, what's the materials that you use to make this dress? She brought her own materials. Which were what? I don't even know. So you've been making dresses for that long and you don't know what materials you were working with? Nope, I don't know what material that was she brought to me. I go get my own material when people need it. I find it hard to accept that you're a credible- Heidi, shut up while well, I'm talking, please. I find it hard to believe that you're a credible dressmaker and you don't know the materials that you were working with on this dress. No, that ain't to do with it because if I'm a, a designer, I go get my own material. She brought me her own material because she didn't want to pay the, the the real price if you don't bring your own material. But for me to go to the, the fabric store and get the material, bitch, that's a f charge. You made this dress, that's your claim? With her material, yes I did. With her material. Commissioner, do you have a couple questions for Heidi? I want to do a little bit of research. Couple things that I don't understand. It says that you spent the night crying in the bathroom. I did. Why would you put the dress on knowing that you didn't want to wear it and go to your party that way to cause your own distress? Because I want to look nice. But if the dress is ripped, how am I going to look nice? But it's not, the, there's... The dress is supposed to be so completely that I understand, but it's not ripped. It's, it's made that way. The dress was made. He shouldn't have made it that way. He didn't know what I was um, asking for. At the time when you tried the dress on and you saw the open front, at that point you didn't say, hey, this is not what I wanted? I called him and I let him know what was going on. She lied. Yeah, you're both lying. There's a lot of lies going on right now. She tried the dress on. Before she left my shop, she tried the dress on. That's how I got my balance. She gave me my balance. Why would you give somebody a balance and you don't even like So you, now you got paid? That's dumb. So now you, you see you got paid? Duh. That's how she left and wore the dress. Equal amount that he got paid. No. He's saying he's suing for the cost of the dress, which is $300, and he's only going to make $100, which is charity in his eyes. Yada, yada, yada. Fine. He only makes the finest quality of dresses, and they're on runways, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So she's saying she paid him $400 for the dress. Which, by the way, is just a remarketed dress. Miss Landers, I don't know what materials you brought. Mr. Allen, you obviously purchased that dress and then repurposed it for Heidi. I can't find out the original cost to the dress, but it seems like a scam to me. For considerations, your credibility is crap. Heidi is basically stating, Heidi, how much did you give him? I gave him $400. Which he just acknowledged. So when you tried the dress on, when you gave me the last 200, you wasn't satisfied? I was not. You ain't said you look like a bad no, I did not. I sure didn't. Oh, I sure didn't. God. You was lying. I sure didn't. And then tell him how you was- Mr. Allen, you're a con artist. Why? You're a con artist. You can't make dresses. You can't make skirts. You can't make anything. The only thing you can do is make a mess. Let me see what you got on. Standard honors your outfit. Now, listen. That's what she wanted. I make what you want. You make a mess. Well, I uh, guess clean it up then. Give me my money. Judge, the case needs to be dismissed. I agree. We're, we're here on a singular issue, and she got what she paid for. She tried it on. How? She got the dress, and that's all artistic impression. Are you so there's no, there's no claim for that. She agrees that she tried it on and she wore it to the party. So how do you claim damages after you wore it to the party? Then you complain why. Because the dress was not made the way I asked him to make it. Then don't wear it. So you can't claim damages on top. At the try-on, if your additional claims for emotional distress are definitely dismissed. She she put the emotional distress on herself. I agree. But she's claiming she wants the $400 back for the dress. But she already got, she accepted the dress. And wore it. And wore it. I don't see a flaw in the dress as far as a tear or anything that would make it 
There's no tear in the dress. But the dress was supposed to be sewn together in the front. Why are you countersuing for $300 if you claim you've already made all the money? She wasted my time. Why would y'all make me come here and waste my time? I get paid for time. Absolutely, I need Judge. money. I Just need like my money. Me. I'm here maybe being paid by the hour. This is right. a false claim. This is, this is basic contract law. There is offer, acceptance, and consideration. And I fed that bitch. I gave that oh. wine. I gave that bitch sausage. <laughs> okay. Heidi has enough sausage for herself. <laughs> First. Secondly, the court is going to award the following. Miss Landers, your, your claims are unproven. I'm going to give you $150 credit towards the judgment in which I'm going to issue to Mr. Cordell because obviously we're going to pay you and we're going to take that as debt from Heidi. So give me one sec. Actually, we'll do Cordell first because then I can give you other options and figure out how you're going to pay that. Uh, Cordell, you were kind of suing for the $300. I think $150 is time and travel. That's good, guys, and some weed. <laughs> so, Mr. so Mr. Allen accepts that credit. We accept, Judge. Okay. Girl, I'm going to call you back here, girl. This is on me, girl, but I got the money, girl. I'm gonna call you back here. <laughs> Mr. Allen, you know, use your, your phone in court, please. I'll literally smash you with my gavel. I like breaking <laughs> You think my time's not valuable? I'm so sorry, y'all. You have green hair. Okay. Clearly, you have time to do whatever you want to okay, do. Okay, don't judge me. because I'm not judging you. I'm throwing out the facts. Your hair shows that you have time to do bullshit. Okay. And I'm on green light go. <laughs> okay, so listen. So Mr. Allen was awarded the hundred and fifty dollars that you agreed to for your for your for your time. That becomes your problem now. So you owe the court a hundred and fifty dollars. We have two options. We can take that court as debt, and then you'll be subject to the resources of our debt. Or we can issue a sentence in the Dutchbury jail, and I can have Mr. Papero mitigate that matter on your behalf. So you need to pay the court back $150, you understand? Okay. So we're pay we're gonna give him $150 because that's what you owe him. Okay. So now you're gonna pay that back to the court. Do you want the court to take that as debt? Or would you like me to set a time for you to turn yourself into jail and you can spend what we're gonna argue now would be how many hours, or sorry, how many days you would spend in jail uh, before that debt is- She probably gonna, go to, she probably gonna pick jail. Definitely not picking jail, baby. What do you want? Definitely not jail. You take that as you take that as debt. Mm -hmm. Are you sure okay. you want to do that, Judge? Can I have a set? Yeah. Just to, so you know, if you take. Oh, who is this? Is he? I mean, like. You can either get my advice for free, or you can go on your own. It's up to you. You need to let him help your way. This. Okay, so what's going on? Who is he? He's there to help. Oh. He's there to help you. He should have been over here. No. Heidi, the civil part of this case is over. Okay. Okay. Now you owe the court. Okay. Either you're going to pay the court. Okay. Or you're going to have a debt to the court. Okay, and what is the debt to the court? So the debt to the court is, hold on, the debt to the court is the $150. Okay. And if you decided to take it as debt, the court would offer you $100 for your time and travel today. But if you decided to remand yourself into jail. Uh, Definitely not jail. You understand what happens if you don't pay that debt though. You're going to jail anyways. Honey! Look, it's easier to get it done. Okay, so, did, do so how many days do I have to spend in jail? Well, it depends if you want to go, I guess. Your Honor, can I say one thing? Yeah. Do you want your cornbread? <laughs> don't drop the soap. Okay. I don't even know what pod they would put you in. Exactly. I don't think we have. We have a. Exactly. Have a do I do I do I identify as a male or a female? Female. Itty bitty titty witty. It has nipples, itty so they're not bitty, fake. Itty bitty titty witty. Itty bitty titty witty. Are we doing the record reflect that? Yeah. Okay, so, Miss Landers, I would suggest jail in Miss Landers' case. I think she would do well in jail. Ms. Landers, your judgment is so low. If you agree to a lengthier jail sentence, you could walk out of jail with, in, a, in the profit. I'll keep you I'll keep you in the jail show forever. <laughs> uh, how many days do you recommend? Well, no. Harvey, please. Hell no. You could have avoided all this from not lying. Lying ass bitch. <laughs>
Cordell, that might be pot calling kettle. <laughs> Is it green but not black? What are you thinking over there? That we give her the opportunity to serve seven hours. Seven days. Whatever, seven days. And um, we'll give you credit for $150 and you'll walk out with 350 once you finish your sentence. Seven days is a little excessive, isn't it? It's a full week. That's includes the exactly. weekend. It's going to take away our weekend. How about five, Judge? I think five would be fair. Why are we concerned about our weekend? I can do, I can do $500, relieve her debt, and she pay, be paid $150 upon her release. Can I work for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Can we wrap this up? Y'all wasting my time. <laughs> Mr. Allen, just because I like your hair, you know what? I'm going to award you another $50 for just a fantastic dress. Oh my God, thank you so much. Now I could get a perk 30. We have, um, currently we have the 22nd and or the 23rd and 24th. Miss Landers, the 23rd or the 24th, you can turn yourself in. Okay. Which day would you like to turn yourself in? The 24th? In? The 24th? That's Thursday the 24th. Can you schedule her for the 24th? 24th at 1 p.m. That early? That's the check-in time. Okay, 24th at 1 p.m. Don't okay. forget. Okay. Case is dismissed. What do you think the result of your case today? I love it. Got my money. I'm good. I buy my weed, get my perk 30, and I'm outside tonight with my money. For wasting my time. Are you gonna sell her any dresses anymore? Never again. That still, I see that in the alleys. That's the only place. She cannot come to my shop. I make clothes for runway models, not street walkers, baby. Sorry. All right, Heidi, what did you think about the ruling today? Great. Are you happy with what the judge I'm worked not, out? I'm not. Not at all. What are you unhappy with? Because he awarded that, that child my um, goddamn money. That should have been my money. And now you have to go to jail. Yes. You're not happy about that. Not at all. Next time on Judge Patty Mayo. Suing obviously her for the cost of a TV. He got me What? Again, I got pictures of her sleeping yes. with my best friend. If you work for a job, you got time to What the are you doing? What are you doing? We got to do this again soon. But I cook, uh, I clean, I bust my ass.